Yogis, Carly Rose here, and welcome to an Radio YouTube channel. Today is our final yoga chat for National Yoga Month. I hope you've enjoyed our last three weeks. Uh, today we are going to talk about my number one tip for your yoga practice. Ready? Don't hurt yourself. I know, mind blown, right? Like that seems like a super obvious thing to say, yet I can't stress enough how many times I've seen people in their yoga practice doing things that are going to hurt their body. And the really tough part is you can see it sometimes that they know that it's going to hurt, but they want to do it because they want to match exactly what the instructor said or exactly how the instructor looks or the Instagram post that they saw or the yoga magazine that they saw or whatever the case may be. So they're pushing their body into something that their body shouldn't be doing. And maybe it's just a yet. So there's there's a spectrum for every pose, for everything you're doing in yoga. We have this what it should be image over here, and then all of the foundational groundwork to build up to that. So you need to figure out where you are on the spectrum. And depending on the structure of your body, maybe you're here now and you're working your way up to here. Or maybe you're here and this is probably where you're gonna hang out just because that's how your bones are connected. And there's nothing wrong with that. There is something wrong with saying, I'm gonna disregard what my body is telling me. I'm not gonna honor where my body is or where I am on the spectrum. And I'm not gonna practice with integrity. I'm just going to do the final version of the pose, even though it, it will cause injury or it will hurt or whatever the case may be. So don't, don't do that. <laughs> I've, I've also seen a lot of people stop practicing yoga because they hurt themselves, because they weren't listening to their body. They said, okay, well, this is the cue that I got and this is what the yoga teacher is doing. And they go right into it without building from the foundation, starting from the ground, going up and they end up hurting themselves and then not practicing yoga again. So we don't want either of those things to happen. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit the fault of the yoga style. Not all styles are geared to teach in a way that builds you into proper alignment. Um, and if you happen to be practicing one of those, I mean, that's fine. It is what it is. Like just really be listening to your body and focusing on the alignment for your body, for your bone structure, so that you're not hurting yourself, you're not causing injury or pain, and you're not destroying your body or your yoga practice. So that's my number one tip. Again, I know it seems easy and I know it seems obvious, but sometimes it's one of the hardest things to do is to really take a second to listen to what your body is telling you and honor it when you're trying to get here. This is, this is what you think you should be doing, but you're over here practicing this version of the pose that maybe doesn't look the same. And sometimes it's humbling. It can be a very humbling experience. So honor that, you know, practice where you are in the spectrum. Don't hurt yourself during your yoga practice. Accidents happen, I get it. But don't <laughs> don't ignore your body and, and purposely get hurt. So I hope you enjoyed all of these, these weeks of our yoga chats. We've talked about the benefits of yoga. Uh, we've dispelled some yoga myths. We've talked about um, different tips for starting out or as a um, seasoned practitioner, as well as the number one tip for your yoga practice, don't hurt yourself. I do hope that you enjoyed all of that. I look forward to seeing you on the mat again next week where we will resume our actual practices and flows. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you get notifications for those videos. Uh, also sign up for the League of Nerdy Yogi email list. I have exclusive content waiting for you there. Namaste.